Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome back LUNC holders. Let me tell you something guys, I like what's happening here for Terra Luna Classic. If the community can do this consecutively, I mean, is this the new norm for LUNC? That's a big question because if it is and Terra Luna Classic can continue burning more and more, like, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, the norm was 10,000, uh, less than a million or so of LUNC burned per day or so. Now we're seeing more than a hundred million and just recently today 150 million burn LUNC that is more than ten thousand dollars everybody that's not bad and the price of LUNC coming up which is really good and this continues believe believe it or not there's gonna be a lot of mouths being shut by the, the LUNC haters, right? Which, in my opinion, you do whatever you want with your money. I like that at least some people can recover some of the losses that they've had with Terra Luna. I um, mean, Luna 2.0, of course, with Duquon. Not many people want to mess around with Terraform Labs and Duquon, but LUNC is what community-driven tokens, meme coins are here for. The community letting it just do whatever the community wants and at the end of the day, built on top of it. Um, it does seem that this is going to, you know, sustain for at least 2022. Definitely a risky asset, but hey, baby, I mean, this coming up from Lunatic's token official, 150 million burn a couple hours ago, which is fantastic. So I think if you are part of the LUNC community, you should be feeling pretty happy today that this is coming up. In my opinion, as soon as we start seeing half a billion being burned on a daily basis, according to Lunatics or any other 1.2% tax burn partnership besides Coin and, and more, at that point, there's going to be a lot of people saying, oops, <laughs> and they probably could be adding some LUNC positions. You have to remember, there's got to be a massive catalyst to burn. This is not going to be anything easy. I think that's something we know. At 1,000 billion is 1 trillion, and we have, well, a couple trillions to delete. So let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Go ahead and smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'm so happy that you're back, guys. Uh, well, what do we see? 150 million burn, which is really good. We had about uh, 48 hours ago, right? 100 million being burned. And then before that, like 70 million be uh, being burned. And just, you know, people are burning right now. And then just letting their money go because they want to put the community first. They have some other type of intentions behind it. At the end of the day, when it, I mean, I know a lot of you guys have told me that you don't see the the supply here changed. I mean, the same thing goes for Crypto.com with Terra Luna Classic. Look, I cannot edit the circulating supply for you guys. If I would, if I could, I would. But uh, I know it still says 6.5 trillion. I know it still says that. Why is it? I don't know. Uh, Binance is behind this page, Coin Market Cap. If I, I, I could go to CoinGeek and see, but I think at this time. You, I wouldn't really mind a lot to check the circulating supply. This is what I will be focusing my time, just burning, burning, burning as much as we can and letting it go. And then later on, of course, we're going to see the change in the price. Because right now we had a little bit of a dip uh, about a, a day ago to four zeros eight, And then we are coming in closing at three zeros earlier today. And right now there's a battle between three and four zeros, which is really good. So at this time, I wouldn't say that that the burn created this pump because have to remember 150 million is nothing. I know that, right? You don't have to tell me. But what's happening with the market, Bitcoin, Ethereum, CRO, what, what we're seeing right now, this map, I mean, I think the five minutes is not a good way to put it. If I put it in the four hours, there you go. This is Bitcoin, everybody, right? So massive pumps right now reaching to my price levels of $24,000. So that is what's carrying the cryptocurrencies at this time. I wouldn't say it was the burn, but no matter what the, uh, what the price of Bitcoin and CRO is, if you are part of the Terra Luna Classic community, this is what it will be beneficial to all of us. Just start burning, burning, and more burning. And I think Lunatics is really being a key player in this Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, right? This is a pretty good number, but there must be even more. Like I said, if people are willing to burn tens of thousands of dollars in a day, well, if, they, that, if that goes day by day, it has to accumulate 100 million on a day. That's 10 days and that'll be 1 billion. And once again, so far, 1.6 billion. 
this was roughly 1.2, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of last week. So it's coming along much faster. And Terra Rebels, they're not shutting out. They're, I mean, the development is still working there. So how exciting. Thank you very much for watching. Just the updates. And I like it. Peace.